Okay, so today we're going to look at um, a problem that I had, right? Uh, in truth, this is more like a record of what I've done, right? Uh, for me to reference in the future, and if anybody faces the same problem, right? So we're looking at the screen here. Uh, actually, this is okay. Let's just unplug the HDMI cable. Okay, so. The device we're actually looking at here is an Orange Pi uh, PC, right? So this is a um, Raspberry Pi alternative, uh, and basically, what you need is to act as a video display, all right? A kiosk of sorts to just display a web page, and uh, yeah, that's it, right? So. There is an issue that we've been facing, right? Where, uh, whenever the, this gets plugged in, right, the video will be landscape. So you might think, okay, uh, simple solution, right? Uh, if you look at this, we go to applications. Uh, okay, I don't know how well you can see that, but you know, there's only so much you can do. Okay, uh, okay let me just to it. Okay, so let me see. Can I make this really big? So, um, settings, I guess. Settings, display, right? Let me see if I can make the screen really, really big first. So, um, I wonder if I do like something like that. Will I get a really, yeah, okay, a really huge screen. Yes, okay, this, this looks good. All right, let's zoom on up again. Yep, that looks somewhat readable. Okay, so we adjust this. Okay, so I might say that, okay, uh, let's go back to that setting, right? Uh, display, so I, would, I need it rotated right. Okay, so here we see, oh, okay, that's a rotation option, and we can rotate it right. Apply, and the screen's rotated, right? Give it a moment, and I uh, just keep the configuration. Okay, so right now, the, uh, just to explain a little bit, we're running uh, Orange Pi's uh, distro for Ubuntu, all right? So the Ubuntu and Debian version actually is mostly the same. There is not that much difference. Uh, I've tried running uh, Android as well, but that is also a dead end. Okay, so yes, okay, it's rotated and seems that it's all good. So if I close this, right, it's rotated. Now, a simple test, right, if I take it, okay, no, I, sh I should just turn it off properly, right, so if I shut it down, Right, so I shut down the device. Give it a moment to shut down. Okay, so I shut down. Uh, I'm just going to replug the power, right, so that it would wake it back up. Okay, we'll take a little bit. So I'm just going to pause it and. We'll Nah, maybe we just like run, run through and uh, cut it or something. Let's see. So anyhow, uh, this should work, right? A restart should work. So the startup, as we see, it's in portrait. You know, landscape. Sorry, landscape, and we want it to be portrait once it's all done. So I let it run through. Right. So it showed up for a while in landscape and now if you look at the uh, menu bar it's portrait so that's all good right and this should work if you are sure that the pie right the device and the screen uh, are going to turn on and off at the same time but we have an issue right where uh, we have this case where the screen would turn off right and the device would just keep running so essentially a way to simulate that would be if 
the HDMI was unplugged, right, and then reconnected. And this will result in the device going back to landscape. And if you restart it, it will not stick to landscape, right? Because if we look at uh, the settings, we'll notice that the rotation is now back to none. And all we can also notice that the resolution has reverted. Right, so basically, nope, that does not do what we want it to do. Okay, so one thing we found after that was I mean, if you just Google, right, um, one simple, simple solution is this the, just to call the render tool. Right, so it's called X render. X render. Right, so if you can just run it alone, this will tell you um, everything you need to know about it. Right, so it can tell you HTML one is the output, uh, the screen, what is the minimum, what is the maximum, what's current, uh, and then this is the rotation it supports. Right, so normal, which is what it is now, left inverted, right, uh, X and Y axis. I'm not very sure what it does. Yeah, and then this is the. Uh, refresh rates at a different uh, graphic levels right okay so you can do X render uh, note here I'm using simplified commands because it's only one screen right if you have more than one screen you would need to specify your output as well but right. we can just say we want the output to be right so just running that rotates output again right but this does not help because if I unplug I'm plug HDMI, right? Okay, and replug it. It's back to long. Right? Problem is not solved. So run again, then it's revert um rotated again, right? And if I run it with command normal, so that we can read it, right? It goes back to normal. Okay, so for most intensive purposes, yes, this command can be used, but no, it doesn't do it right. So, final solution at the end of the day, that I said that okay, you know what, we have spent too much time trying to figure out a solution. Why not? Uh, we just keep running this X render uh, output right. Okay, so just we we would have one issue right where if you notice just now every time we rotate right or normal, it will black out for a while. And if that's always going to happen, we, it's not going to work. So we do a sanity check, right? Say rotate right. Now it's right. Okay, run the command again. Let it finish loading first. Right, okay, it's done. Run the command. Nothing happens. So it's all good. So we can handle this with a cron job, right? So cron job you will need to sudo and then I'm going to use nano uh, I'll put this command in the description if anybody needs it right etc uh, cron tab right password okay so <clears throat> here's edit right at the bottom and for simplicity, simplicity sake, I'm just going to say I'm going to run in every day, every minute of every day. I mean, every, every minute of every hour of every day of every month of every year, right? Run in its root and uh, command is next render dash o right. So that's command you want to run. And if I do this, Right, uh, we can monitor it by running uh, watch service. It's called cron status. All right, so you can see here uh, the command is running. So you can see that okay, command uh, whatever 
Let's run. So you can wait for a little bit. Alright, so it should be every minute. So the next minute would be in 10 seconds. 10 seconds. And okay. So you see, ran root, command, X render, or right. But aha, it didn't rotate. It didn't work. Right? So we have to dig around a little bit and find that, oh, you know, running this alone is not enough. Right? Uh, because it's running it uh, in the background and it does not detect the display and all that. So this command alone does not do enough. So you can exit by control X. Uh, no, sorry, control C. Right? Uh, so you come back into the cron uh, on tab, right? Let's just remove this line. So if you notice, I already have a, a, a previous command here that I've tested, right? And uh, I've commented it out with a hash. So let's look at that uh, script. So it is here. Okay. So what we need to first declare is that it's a bash script, shell script. We will need to export display. So export display, okay, maybe we can zoom into this. Right, so export display zero, which is first display, essentially. You can find that when you run uh, X render, right? That typically will tell you what display you're looking at. Then right, we will need to export X authority as well. So you just need to change actually your user. So here I'm using Orange Pi, default user is called Orange Pi. Right, so literally just replace that. Uh, echo rotating is just informational than actual command. So if I exit this, right and I go and uncomment that line and save it and then we watch the service again right so if you watch it right now we have another 30 seconds to wait okay Thirty seconds to wait. Ten, fifteen seconds more. All right. And then we will see if this works. All right. And there we go. That rotates it. So this script will force it to rotate right every minute right we could reduce the load on the system by reducing the frequency maybe every two minutes every five minutes something like that right uh, at the end of the day that is a matter of adjusting the cron frequency right so depends on the system and how much load it's going to take but for my use case it's going to be quite light and uh, doing it every minute should not impact uh, its overall performance even though it is a pretty low end uh, RH5. All right, so that's that. Uh, just do a sanity check, right? If I unplug it, right? So now if I unplug it and I replug it, you'll notice, ah, it goes back, right? But if we give it another five seconds, which is number five, it goes back. Right? It's not the prettiest solution, it's not the best solution, but it's the simplest solution that works. Right? Because we know for a fact that not uh, it's not going to be turned on and off like continuously. It's going to be one, and then a one-minute wait time to rotate is acceptable for this use case. So, that's that. Thanks for watching.